What's up, everybody? Still trying to figure out how to get that all to work right. Trying to do the intro and the uh, the logo and all that shit to show. What's up, Enrico? Robert, no love for you. <laughs> right on, brother. So let me get back here. I want to pull up Josh's question. This was... <clears throat> He posted this about 15 minutes ago. Josh is a good buddy of mine. Got a lot of respect for this kid. It's, uh, he's got a big setup. You know what? <clears throat> he's got a question in here. Hey, Gorillas, question for you. I want to get more serious about making my sales training coaching. I want to get more serious about my sales training slash coaching, but I don't know how to price my services. Do I offer a one-time training, ongoing, or both? Do I charge hourly or flat rate? Just charge for one session at a time or have minimum packages? I have two calls tomorrow. Both trainings would be for inbound closing. We don't use that word, Josh. It's opening relationships. Damn it. Get it right. Um, one is for an individual. The other is a six-person team. How much should I charge discount for a team training? Right now, I'm pricing myself at 100 to 130 an hour. If I'm just doing hourly, so using that as a base to go on, how should I set up my pricing model? There's, dude, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. First, you need to do enough market research with the people that you're serving with this to understand what it is that they want, what it is that they expect to pay, what they're looking for value wise for dollars. Um, I don't know where these people are. Are they over the phone or is this, um, are these people local in New York? hundred dollars to 130 an hour, unless you're coaching somebody who's like, um, you know, kind of small potatoes is not a whole lot unless your coaching needs to be like 700 hours, right? There's a couple of different ways that you can do this and you covered most of them, but really to be able to price yourself, you got to understand what they need, how you, whatever process it is that you take them from A to B to get them the result that they're looking for, right? If you're just going to be a mentor and you're going to walk them through a sales training process and there's no like step one, step two, step three result, um, then yeah, I would do an hourly, um, really it doesn't come for the most part. It doesn't come from yourself. It comes from them, right? So there's a couple of things to take into account your competitors in your marketplace. What are they charging? What are they providing? What kind of results are they getting for the people that they're training and coaching? And you can kind of base it off of that. Now, as far as your ability to get them results, obviously you need to be able to take them through a process to help them get a result. And that's going to be based on your experience level. Knowing what I know, if I were in your shoes, I would be probably somewhere in the neighborhood of six one hour sessions at two and a quarter to 275 an hour. And you need to be able to, in six one hour sessions, take a person or a small team who's all following a process and get them from point A to point B where they get results. Does that make sense? If I was in your shoes, that's what I would be doing. $225 to 275 an hour for six one hour sessions. Um, and you need to be able to have a process that you take them from A to B to C result. Does that make sense? I know you're watching brother. Um, if you've got any, if you've got any questions about that, hit me in the comments. Yes, I think I just need to know the right questions to ask them. I know this sounds dumb, but other than just Google searching, how do I scout my competitors? There's a bunch of different ways, but it, really it's one of the first steps in the process that you need to go through is identifying the landscape that you're competing in, right? If I go out and build a Porsche 911 C4 red twin turbo top of the line, and I go out into the marketplace and it's $9 million, but the competition selling that car for 185 grand, right? 
On the flip side, if I go out and build that same car and take it to market for $45,000 and the competitor is selling it for 185, way out of line. Does that make sense? Okay. <clears throat> um, Sarah, I appreciate you. I'm glad that you're in the group. I'm going to use this Facebook Live to answer Josh's questions. This is specific to the one he asked. Can I talk about branding? Yes, ma'am, I can. And I'd be happy to. I'll do that in a live um, sometime later on this week. Okay. And I'll tag you in it. Let's see. What's up, John? Cameron. White stripes play in my ears, right? No love for you, Robert. What you talking about, man? Hey, you and I got a call, a coaching call here in like an hour, right? Cool. Josh, um, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Um, Lashmia posted in that thread as well and said that she would do all of the above. My giving you that advice of here's what I would do, that's based on an assumption. I know a little bit about my marketplace and the people that I'm teaching and the coaching thing. I don't charge that, but I've got 15 years experience. So figure what I told you and then multiply that by two and a half to three, right? Um, it's all based on where they're at and where they want to go. And if you can get them the results and in what period of time, and then you break it down by price, it's gotta be something that's realistic for their world. If you've got somebody now who's charged, who you're charging hundred to 130 an hour. Cool. Do that for the, that client or those two clients. And then the next client double that price. It's 200 an hour. We should be able to get X done in six hours. Sometimes it goes eight one hour sessions. Um, but it would be something along those lines. You also have to have a process, right? Like a, an actual process that you take people through. Um, to give you an idea, the course that we're doing, yes, I am totally uh, currently reasonably priced at 500 an hour. Thanks, Robert. I love you too. Um, the course that we've put together for this is quite a bit more than six one hour sessions and we're selling it for a thousand bucks doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching thing. It goes up because that limits your ability to help people. Right? So it's kind of somewhere in that ballpark. I kind of think that I've so pretty much offer several options. Yeah, man, we are getting into like super open question territory. If you offer people more than two options, it confuses the brain. They don't have the ability to make a choice. You need to have two options. Based on the information that you put in your, in your question in the group, the way that I would do that is I would say, generally I charge 200 an hour. This is just an example. And we do six sessions. You're looking at 1200 bucks and I should be able to get you from A to B provided you're intelligent and can follow instructions or we can do this one off at $325 an hour and you go two sessions with me or if we get, you know, past four or five sessions, then we readjust that. Um, if you want to go that route, if you're going to offer more than one option, only make it two options. Make sense. What's up, Dustin? How you doing, brother, man? How are things going for you? Um, Josh, I know there's like an eight second lag here. You're pretty quick on the draw. Do you have other questions about this? Should we wrap this Zoom? You've got these two calls coming up tomorrow. Is this like a discovery call or is this an actual sales call? Are these people teed up already or is this, you know, like brand new and you've like a, a three sentence message back and forth on Facebook and now you're going to be on the phone tomorrow? Let me know that. Cool. We got 15 people on with us Monday at 615 Eastern Standard Time. Oh, hey, guys. Do you see that? You see that? You see that? That's badass, huh? Give some love. A good friend of mine made that. It's friggin' awesome. Fact here, I'll show you. Wood. It's wood. It's rad. Jack. It's awesome. Just had to show you guys that. And we lost somebody with that. Perfect. Cool. 
I don't see any more questions coming through here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Josh, if you've got more questions, post them in the comments. That sign is dope. It's not as crooked as it looks, these little itty bitty lenses. All right. I hope that answered your question, brother. If not, let me know in the comments and I will continue to answer it. Peace out, Cub Scouts.